हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेस प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर एम्स नॉर्सेट एग्जाम 2021 आर टुडे टॉपिक इज कार्डियक मार्कर्स लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज कार्डियक मार्कर्स कार्डियक मींस रिलेटेड विथ हर्ट एंड मार्कर्स मींस अ सब्सटेंस that shows the actual condition of something so cardiac markers are a substance that shows actual condition of heart in our today's video we are discussing three important cardiac markers these are first ckmb second one is troponin and the last one is myoglobulin myoglobin so everyone let's have detail about all these cardiac markers let's first talk about the first cardiac marker that is ckmb ckmb stands for creatinine kinase myocardial muscle creatinine kinase myocardial muscle elevation in myocardial damage ckmb is a substance or cardiac marker that found elevated in person's body when his cardiac cells get damaged or we can say if a person having high ckmb level in his body or blood we can say he is having heart attack or his cardiac cells are start to damage or damaged let's have a quick revision about heart's anatomy we know heart is a hollow muscular organ that are made by three layers outer layer of the heart is epicardium middle layer is myocardium it is a most muscular layer most muscular layer and contraction of heart it's depend on this myocardium layer if this layer damaged level of ckmb increases and the innermost layer of the heart is endocardium next point elevation within hours and peaks at 18 hours following acute ischemic attack ischemic attack means a person is not getting proper blood supply to his heart and due to this heart is having deficiency of oxygen this condition is known as ischemic attack if a person is facing ischemic attack after this ischemic attack within few hours the uh, ckmb level start to elevate and it's reach after 18 hours on its peak level next point what is the normal amount of ckmb in a person's body let's talk about the male in males it is around 2 to 6 ng per ml or 2 to 6 mcg per liter in females 2 to 5 ng per ml or 2 to 5 mcg per liter if this ckmb in this range we can say this is the normal if a person is having ckmb level more than this we can say a person is having heart attack cardiac problem or any kind of uh, heart related problem now let's talk about the second cardiac marker that is troponin we have three forms of troponin troponin c troponin t and troponin i troponin t and troponin i are most important or more relevant for the cardiac markers so let's discuss about them troponin i is a most specific for myocardial in injury if this is a star point you can make it star uh suppose if a person is having severe chest pain you have to make diagnosis whether the person is having myocardial infarction or not so what is the best 
cardiac marker you will evaluate you have to answer we will check for the rise in the level of troponin t sorry troponin i troponin i is a most important i for important troponin i is a most important for myocardial injury evaluation next point rise within 3 hours and persistent for 7 to 10 days the level of troponin rises after 3 hours of attack or myocardial injury and persistently remain elevated in blood for 7 to 10 days this is a important next point let's talk about the normal level of troponin i and troponin t troponin i normal level 0.3 ng per ml to less we can uh, say or we can say in mcg per liter form below 0.03 mcg per liter normal level of troponin t less than 0.2 ng per ml or we can say less than 0.02 mcg per liter next point any rise indicate myocardial cell damage as we previously uh, told if the level of cardiac marker increases it means there is a injury to myocardial cells third one is myoglobin myoglobin is a oxygen binding protein cardiac marker myoglobin is a oxygen binding protein found in cardiac and skeletal muscles it is found in cardiac and skeletal muscles level rises within 2 hours after cell death and rapid decline after 7 hours level of myoglobin increases after 2 hours of cell death and after 7 hours it is start to decline so it is not cardiac specific as we pre as we previously told myoglobin cardiac marker is a oxygen binding protein and it is found in cardiac and skeletal muscles also if a person is having injury in skeletal tissues or cells level of myoglobin is also increased so by evaluating its level we cannot confirmly said say that person is having cardiac injury so myoglobin is not a cardiac specific marker so everyone this was our today's video about important cardiac markers you can take a screenshot for your revision purpose in this video we discussed three important cardiac markers these are first ckmb creatinine kinase myocardial muscle second one is troponin in this we discussed troponin i and troponin t and in the last myoglobin myoglobin is a oxygen binding protein and it works also as a cardiac marker thank you so much friends for watching this complete video if you think this video is helpful then please click upon the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel for nurses preparation for more such interesting videos all the best